These are pictures of Rumilia Makoc, a 17-year-old albino girl who was often a lone white face in a black crowd. In May, she was attacked and killed in her home in western Tanzania because of the pinkish color of her skin. They cut her three times, first on her neck and then both legs. Then they took her legs. Yusuf Malogo, a neighbor, now lives in fear. Here in Tanzania and across much of Africa, albinos have faced discrimination for years. Albinism is a genetic condition which prevents normal skin pigmentation and eye development and affects about 1 in 3,000 in Tanzania. People on the street call them zero zero, as in zero, nothing. At the same time, some locals believe albinos have magical powers. Fishermen weave their hairs into fishing nets in the hopes of hauling in a bigger catch. Traditional healers market potions made from albino body parts or even just sell the skin, hair and bones directly. At least 19 albinos, including Vimilia and other children, have been killed in the past year. Tanzania's government is mobilizing to protect the albino community and crack down on the growing trade in albino body parts. Tanzania's president, Jakaya Kwekwete, just appointed Alshaima Kwegir, who is albino, to parliament to show he is serious about ending discrimination against albinos. When the people go to the witch doctor, he tells them, bring an albino's hand, bring an albino's leg, bring an albino's hair. That's what the witch doctors tell them. As a result, some people can't manage to kill. They sell their, they pay people to go and kill an albino, and then they, they just take legs and the hairs, they leave the body. Albinos also face a grave natural danger, the sun. Many albinos here die of skin cancer before they reach 30. Ms. Kwegir took us to a hospital in Tanzania's biggest city, Dar es Salaam, where the Tanzanian Albino Society tries to help. But the group operates on less than $15,000 a year, and that's not enough for the sunscreen, hats, and protective clothing that could save lives. Our big enemy is the sun. It causes cancer. And also for our eyes, we can't manage to look when we are in, through in the sun. We can't uh, see properly. We get pains from eyes. Police officials say life is the worst for albinos in rural areas where there are few hospitals and people tend to be less educated and more superstitious. <laughs> I'm on the run because if I'm walking along, someone might cut off my legs. I'm really scared, really scared. Yusuf now carries a whistle that he is ready to blow if attacked. <laughs> it's basically his only defense. For the New York Times, this is Jeffrey Gettleman.